Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're gonna to be playing Oz Australia. Now, this is a train track building, uh, farm building game where you're also going to be fighting the old ones, Cthulhu, Shoggoths, the Migos, all those kind of guys. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting combination of those two you know, very different thematic uh, kind of subgenres in board gaming. Now, before we get into the setup, I do want to mention our sponsor, StoneValleyGames.com. This is a fantastic, friendly, distant game store. Go over there, check them out. There's a link in the description below. Eric and Wendy have a fantastic thing going on over there. They've got all kinds of great games over there. They've got a pretty wide variety of games, everything from board games to card games to RPGs, collectible card games, the whole gamut there, war games. Go check all of that out. They have some great uh, uh, programs as well. If you are a return customer, they have a loyalty program for you. If you are in the United States military and you're stationed overseas, they, have, they will ship to you for free if you have an AAAE or AP address. And if you're living in the continental United States, they will ship to you for free if you order $100 or more for them. So go check them out, stonevalleygames.com. There's a link in the description below. Also, as a real quick aside, I you know love making these videos. I try to get at least 10 of them out a month and it's a ton of fun. But if you would like to support the channel monetarily as well, you can go into the description and there's a couple different ways you can do it there. Or if you just wanna leave a super thanks in the comments below, that is also something you can do. So check those possibilities out. I really appreciate any support you throw my way. All right, so let's get the board set up first. So what we've got here, we've got these survey tiles. We flip one over and it's gonna tell us what goes in the area around it. Now, uh, the old ones will only go into the outback area, which is the brown tiles, and uh, resources will never go in the coastal area. Uh, so basically, you know, some of the stuff won't show up. So with this one though, for instance, we've got three coal here, three iron up here, a phosphate right here, and then it would be an old one here, an old one here, and then an old one here, but this is the only one where an old one can actually go. So we put a level one old one right here because that number there shows you what uh, level old one will go there. And that's all we do with that survey tile. All right, so let's flip another one over. All right, so we've got three coal there, a phosphate, three gold, old one, and old one. All right, we've got iron, and then an old one, Oh, and that's actually going to be level two. All right, and so that is essentially how you set the board out. You can see we've got some different spots where there's a good amount of resources. You can see there's a, a lot of gold here. Uh, then we've got iron and, and coal here. Uh, iron and coal is used to build railroads. Gold is used to give, uh, let you use actions uh, additional times after the initial time you use them. And then phosphate is worth victory points and gives you a gold when you mine it. Now we've got three level three old ones out here, which is a little troubling. I only had two in my last game. Uh, and I, this is actually only the second time I've played it. I did almost win the last one. I was playing on easy, which you can see when playing solo on easy mode, you get six gold, four iron, four coal, and every victory point token I gain is worth eight points. And we don't put anything, we don't put a survey tile there. So we will see how we do again. We're, we're, we're gonna try one more time here. 
Uh, now, also one of the things we should take a look at is what uh, personalities we have available to us down here. Uh, we've got Des Desta Danger. Uh, basically, she's a one use and I can blow up a temple, but I don't get any victory points for doing it. Uh, we've got Boris Krupp. Your, uh, my armored train units will take four damage before they're eliminated instead of three. Mr. Marino, plus one victory point for every sheep farm. Luigi Caprati, remove one damage cube from uh, one of your units. And Ferdy Kassan, place two farms of your choice. You still earn gold, uh, per, one gold per farm. And I'm sure that may, I'd have to do that, you know, in line with my rail system like normal. Now I do need to, oh, also my solo mission here is well equipped. I want to get 15 victory points if at the end of each, at the end of the game, I have uh, one of each of the five military units in my barracks. All right, so let's pick where our port's going to be. I'm kind of thinking uh, it could be anywhere here on the coast that has this port symbol. Uh, I, I like the idea of pushing straight up into here to get that gold. But then again, if I am right here, then or even here, then I can get to this phosphate and that, and there is some gold here as well. Maybe that's, you know what, I think we'll do that. We'll start there. So during a solo game, I start all the way at the beginning of the track there, and the old ones won't take a turn until we reach the purple, or until we get past their purple disc, and then at that point, they start playing uh, just like a normal player. Oh, let's all forget our starting resources. Let's see, to build rail, railways in the hills here, I have to use this action. I see uh, it costs three time instead of two, and I'll have to spend, so three time, and then one coal and one iron, and we'll definitely put a railway there. and then a railway there. So now I think I'll go ahead and just, I'm just gonna take care of mining this stuff. So we'll mine here, that's one time, to get the phosphate, which again comes with a gold as well. And then we'll mine again, one time, and so I could take all of the iron or all of the coal. We'll just take all the coal for now. And let's do it one more time. So now you can see these I have uh, already used them once, obviously. So when I put another cube on there, it's going to take uh, gold equal to the number of cubes that were already there. So I have to spend one gold and then I can mine again and that'll clear this one off. So one thing I could think about doing is going going ahead and trying to take care of uh, some old ones. I think maybe let's try to get this gold before it becomes, you know, difficult to move back there. And then because we also want to build some military units as well. So this might be a little bit rash, but I'm going to go ahead. So that's uh, iron and a coal. That'll be two tracks. Do one here and one here, and then I'll spend a gold, an iron, and a coal to do that same action again. Oh, I forgot that was two time, and now I'm doing it again, so two more time. All right, and train tracks there. And now, where do I want my other train tracks to go? I guess I'll put them here, give us options in the future. All right, so I don't need to necessarily mine that right now, but now I have all that available to mine. So let's look at recruiting some soldiers or units. So right there, that's one time. Well, you know, this guy, let's go ahead and get an armored train while we've got the gold. So that is four gold for an armored train. Let's do some recruiting as well. 
That's so the closer they are to this side of the tra- of the row, the more likely they are to get assassinated. So we're going to go ahead and get Boris so that so that we'll have our uh, armor trains upgraded. Did I move up the track for that? Let's see. Three, four, six, eight. I think I've forgotten a couple times. Three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I should actually be at twelve right now. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. All right. So train is good against everything except their average against the Migo and they're poor against the zombies. So infantry and armored cars are both good against Migo and zombies. Um I only have one gold right now, though, so hold on. Let's slide this down. Our new personality is General Takanashi. Eliminate one military unit to inflict two damage. Okay. Okay, so we'll use the farm option, and we will build a sheep and a cattle ranch. So the cattle ranch will go here. So you can only build where your train tracks are. And then sheep will put here. Now, that, having, that, having those right there, these are the ones that are most likely to reveal themselves first. So I feel like I should probably address that. So we need to get at least one more. Oh, building those two costs two time. And I get two gold. You get one gold every time you build a farm. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, so I'm going to purchase more military units. One for going somewhere that I've already got something and I've already got a cube there and then two more to get two infantry. The infantry are the only ones that you can recruit more than one at a time. All right. So now let's, let's attack. And we will attack right here. And let's just, we'll put this here just as an easy reminder. And it's Amigo, okay. Oh, did I? Sorry. When you attack, you put this here. You put whatever you're using in your expeditionary force area. This doesn't cost any time, but the soldiers do. The infantry do. So we're at 15 now. Looks like I forgot one again. I think I should be at 16 right now. Okay. So we're attacking. So when you attack, you draw a old one card. And we're attacking the Amigo. The armored car does deal a damage to it. So put a damage there. It has three health and we'll get two victory points for defeating it. All right, and then it does deal one damage to us. And I'll put that on the armor car for now because it's got four health. All right, and then we can retreat at this point. if We, we can withdraw at this point if we want to or we keep going and we're gonna keep going. All right, so again, the Migo, only an airship would damage at this time. It doesn't do anything to us. Keep going. Again with the airship, but it deals one to us. We only need to do, hit it two more times. Nothing happens here. Armored car, not armored train, and it hits us again. Uh, we'll throw that one on the infantry there. Oh, this is not going well. Okay. So at this point, if it hits us again, we are losing somebody. But I've got two infantry, so we're going to go ahead and keep going. Nothing from us. We lose a sanity. There we go. We got it. We lost one more sanity. Doesn't matter. Sanity refreshes every combat, and you have three sanity here. So basically, if you take four hits of hits on your sanity, you you lose the combat. But we hit him twice here, and so he is done. All right, so we got two victory points for defeating that. And these guys come back, and they are repaired slash healed. At this point, I think I'll actually... Pull all my cubes back. That costs one time. 
and then everything comes back. All right, so clean board over here. What are we going to do next? I think, well, actually, we're gonna get that gold. So let's mine one time and we get all of the gold here. Let's go ahead and get another military unit, which is one time. I think we'll pay for the airship. So that's four gold. Let's recruit a personality. Thinking Ferdy Kassan. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did not increase time for that. And I will immediately use him. So he's only one use, so I'll just flip him over so we know he's used. And build two sheep farms. Oops, there we go, there we go. Which will give me two more gold. Recruit another personality. Mr. Marino to get plus one victory points for each sheep farm at the end of the game. That's one, by the way, and cost one gold. Colonel jo Corporal Jones here. Undo the effect of the last old one card drawn and withdraw from combat. And I could do that once per combat. And speaking of combat, I think I should probably go ahead and try to take care of this. Either that, well, actually, let's. We can't, we can't recruit anybody without more gold. Not if I want to recruit something I don't have yet. I just need one more gold, really. So, here's what we'll do. We'll go to Import Export, and we'll sell, let's see, we're closer to coal right now, so we'll sell two coal and get two gold. And that's one time. All right, so my next move is going to finally activate the old ones. So I will spend a gold to go recruit another unit. And the unit I'm going to recruit is going to be the armored car because I don't have enough for artillery. And by the way, that cost me one time. All right, so now it's the old one's turn. So when they move, the first thing they do is they move one space on the time track. Now, every odd number, including the one they're on right now, is lit up, and that's because it reminds you that you have to resolve one of these cards. So it says, reveal the old one, the lowest numbered hex, number one right there. We've got Amigo, all right? Then the last thing that happens on their turn is we see if they move. I draw two cards, flip it over, the Migo is in a white circle, and so they do actually move, and they're gonna to move towards the nearest non-blighted farm or my port, whichever is closer, and this farm is, well, one, two, one, two. Both those farms are the same distance, so then we look at three here, and you can see three's right here. Moving this direction won't get them closer, so you just work your way around, and moving that distance, that direction will, that gets them closer to a farm all right and then they don't move here thankfully so now we're definitely going to try to take them out all right uh oh except the old ones are on top and so they get to go again so this time they go here it's not lit up so these cards don't resolve but they will resolve uh try to move and it does so it moves it blights this farm and then moves there. And it's gonna move again, this farm or that farm. And let's see, one, so it's gonna, oh God, it got two farms in one go. Well, that's a terrible way to start. All right, but now it is my turn. 
So we're definitely going to attack because Amigos tend to move quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Infantry is good against Amigos, so we'll take our infantry. Armored cars are good. That's going to cost... See, each of, everything on top here costs one time every time I take one. Airships are average. Trains are average. But trains and trains and airship are free. And these guys are good. I gotta deal damage to it twice. So to save time, I'm only going, I'm not, I'm not gonna bring my armored cars. Just my armored train, my airship, and my infantry. So it's cost me one time to do that. And so we're fighting here. So artillery and infantry. So infantry got them. But then you can see they actually deal one damage to my airship. And I think I will. So the airship can withdraw without the land units withdrawing. So the airship is going to withdraw now. Just because we don't want it to get taken out. It's very expensive. All right. And then let's fight again. That time the airship would have hit him and nothing else does. But he doesn't do anything either. Infantry and that kills him, but he also took one sanity. But again, doesn't matter. The sanity should have been back on here, actually. Um, so anyway, killed him. But he definitely did some damage in the in the meantime. Let's build some uh, railroad tracks here. I want to get down to this phosphate, or really, I probably should get up to that gold. Or should I should I attack again and take this guy out? Uh, I think I think that's what I'll do first. Is I'm actually going to attack this. Now I don't know what it is, so definitely take the airship. I'm just going to take everything. We'll see what happens, and that's going to be that's two time though. I'm going to leave my armored cars out of it again oh actually my train can't go because this isn't on the train track I might have used that train earlier when I shouldn't have if I did I apologize um, not not against this Migo but against the first thing in fact I'm pretty positive I use it the this number on here shows you how far off the tracks they can attack and obviously the Armored train, which is on the tracks, can't attack uh, anything except things that are on the tracks. So, I will, you know what? I screw it. I will take the cars. All right. So that'll be two time, and again we're attacking here. Zombie. Uh, the armor car got him, so only one more damage needed. And there we go, got him. All right, nice. But now they're going to get to go two, three times. So move there. Reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex, which now is here. Another zombie. And see if the zombie will move. They don't move very often, but they are this time. Um, they'll move right there. And not that time, though. And then that moves there. We'll see if they move again. No. And yes. Oh my gosh, everything. Oh, well, let's see. Which one does it does it blight? Three. Yeah, this one. Well, I'm not doing great. Probably was a mistake to push deep into the... I probably should, maybe should have stuck to the coast. I don't, I don't know. Not really sure there. Uh, but now they go another turn. Reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex, which... 
is this one. Level two pyramid. All right, so we need to get her and just blow that up. Of course, I could just go attack it. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, take a personality card in player. Oh, yeah, all right. I will take her and immediately use her. She's a one use and blow this up. I don't get victory points for doing that, but it's also not a danger because normally level three uh, old ones can be rev can be uh, summoned to those temples. All right, so my turn. Definitely need to take care of this guy. One more time, he's coming to the to the port or possibly go blight that farm. And I'll just use my infantry and my airship. Oh no, attacking is going to cost two gold. So actually, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I actually am going to build train tracks. Yeah. Here and here, the cost is three. One, two, three. And one iron and one coal. All right. And they move or possibly move. No and no. Then we have one of these. No event, fantastic. But does he move? No. And yes. And he's going to move to my port, which actually is fine because now he's going to attack me. And I can deal with that. So we'll put everything into it. Oh, we never pulled out a new personality, by the way. The new personality here is Harry Bones. When you mine, take one extra resource, not phosphates. All right, so nothing. One damage, and that's it. He's done. All right, move everything back off of here. Okay. And they get one more turn, but there's no old ones out here to move, so nothing happens. Let's mine one time. Get this gold. And let's build train tracks. That'll be two time. But I'm going to start doing some sheep farming down here, maybe. So two time, a coal and a iron. And maybe like that. Okay, but now here we go. The last level one, assassination. Remove the two rightmost personality cards from the display and then draw replacements. So Luigi, Caprati, and General Takanashi have been taken out. Replacements, we've got Lord Blackstock, take four gold from the supply. And Colonel Corey, inflict one damage on one old one during combat. That's pretty good. Oh, but then, uh, yeah, that's so that's everything. So then here, no old ones are revealed. So then there. So here's our first level two. Reveal the old one in the lowest number of hex and draw six cards for its movement. And then regular movement still happens. So it'll be this one. Nothing. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, that couldn't have worked out better. All right. Okay, so my turn again. Uh, let's see. We'll do a farm real quick and we'll do the cattle farm and the sheep farm. So that gets me two gold and cost two time. So now they move there, but 
nothing's revealed and they move there. Another assassination. The two rightmost. Tex McGuire and Corporal Jones. We've got Dagmar Cross. You may double up on the placement of one type of farm. Bombardier Milligan. If you have artillery present in combat, inflict one damage automatically. Oh, nice. So we definitely got to get probably get him and oh, if we get these two that would be really powerful okay so let's think about how we can do that well we're gonna spend one time to call everything back and then one time to purchase that artillery which is five gold all right, so as long as we don't let any of our units die, we have well-equipped accomplished, which is huge. So that goes there. Nothing happens. I feel like I should go ahead and attack this guy because the, 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 the uh, old ones get points for everything that's not revealed at the end of the game. Uh, so should I attack or should I mine? Or should I build? I can't build tracks without mining some coal. Let's take this guy out. Let's, let's attack. All right, what am I going to take out there? Oh, no, it's not my turn. It's not my turn. It's not my turn. It's the old one's turn. Sorry. So now they, they go there. That probably is going to resolve. Yeah, reveal the old one, the lowest number hex. So this one gets revealed. Oh, it's a temple. Okay. Step one space back on the time track. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. So we're definitely attacking the temple. We want to take our infantry. Uh, armored car cannot attack temple. Neither can the train. The train obviously can't because the temple is never going to be on the track. So we'll take our artillery. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Before we attack... Let's recruit for one time, and we'll recruit Colonel Corey and new person is oh Alexander Prouse. Your armored car units can take three damage before they are eliminated, and then we'll recruit again, which will cost one gold and one time. To get Bombardier Milligan. So now, as long as we've got our artillery in combat, we can deal two automatic damage. All right, so now we will attack. Attacking the temple with our infantry, with our artillery, and might as well take the airship because there doesn't cost any time to take them anyway. So this attack's gonna cost me two time, but I'll get three victory points for defeating it. It's got six life. So yeah, we're coming here. Uh, my artillery deals one damage to it automatically. My uh, Colonel Curry deals one damage. All right, and now we can start drawing. We lose a sanity. Oh no, we lose a sanity. We take a damage. Oh, I had no idea these guys, this was so hard to hit. All right, there's one damage to it. So it puts us at three. But we take a damage as well. There we go. Two shots from the artillery. Puts it at five damage. But 
We take a damage as well. All right, so the next damage we take is going to kill somebody. I do have two infantry units there, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, there it is. So one of our infantry is dead. So now I am a little... We only got to do one more damage to it. Nice, we got it, we got it. Okay, so I took that temple out, which is important. Those temples can really ramp the difficulty up if you don't deal with them quickly enough. Oh, we didn't put a new personality out down here, by the way. Uh, Zhu Zhang, your airships can take three damage before they are eliminated. Nice. But these guys are repaired. Okay, so let's see how they respond to me taking their temple out again. Uh, well, that's not going to do anything, but come here. Draw and place a level three old one tile face up on each revealed temple. And see, that's why you take the temples out. All right. And then there again, nothing. Okay. We're doing pretty good this time. Last time I had old ones running all over the board. So I think we will build tracks. We'll use this one. Oh no, we've got a mine because we don't have any coal. So we'll take this coal here. That's one. And then build tracks. It's going to cost me three time. Coal and iron. But it'll get me down here. And out here to keep building farms kind of away from the old ones. And all right, so reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex right here. We've got, oh, that should not even be in there. So this XX, that's not part of, I think it's a three or four player challenge or something like that. Uh, so let's just put another level two. Oh, a Shoggoth. Okay. Where was that? Was that? No, it's here, I believe. Right? So there's the Shoggoth. Let's see if the Shoggoth moves. No. And no. Okay. That moves. Let's see again if the Shoggoth moves. No. And yes. All right. So this would be the closest farm, non-blighted farm. So it is on a train track now. So we could go after it. But actually, it's got... Two more turns, so let's see what else happens. Oh, we're to level three now, so there's only five more of these because when this gets to 53, or when uh, 53 basically is the last point that you can take actions. So we're getting close to the end here. Assassination. So Harry Bones and Lord Blackstock got taken out. Replaced by Billy Kneebone. Increase off-rail range of all your units by one except for armored trains. And Professor Gioni. Reduce time point cost for attacking by one to a minimum of one time point. And then for movement. It moves. And it moves. Ah, it, God, blighted it. Okay. Well, we're definitely taking that guy out now. But eh, he's got one more go. God, he moves, blights that one. 
and again. So we'll see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So they're equal distance. So he's going, this is a, a two. So we'll go there. Good news is he's still on the track, so we can throw everything we got at him, which, oh, we don't have any gold. We don't have any gold. Let's see, how can we get gold quickly? I guess, oh, well, we could mine that. So we only need one gold to attack, so yeah. We'll mine the phosphate for the victory points. We get a gold. It costs one time, and then we will attack, which will cost one gold. All right, so against Shoggoths, the train is good. The artillery is good, and we want to say that for sure. And the airship is average. Infantry and armor cars are poor, so we're going to leave them behind. Or should we bring them just as bullet sponges? No, because they also will cost time. So yeah, we're not going to bring them. All right, but that will cost us one time to do this. But we are, okay, we already moved for that, apparently. Yeah, okay. And so here we go. That's where we're going. Shoggoth airship. Oh, uh, before we do anything, artillery and Colonel Curry are both going to hit for one each. All right. All right, so now airship hits him for one. And oh, let's put our sanity back here. All right, but then we get hit for one. Put that on our armored train. Airship hits for one. Glad we brought the airship. And we get hit for one. Armor car hits for two more, and he's dead. Nice. All right, but then the old ones go. Reveal the old one, the lowest number hex, and draw six cards for its movement. And then afterwards, we'll retrieve two action cubes. So that's cool. Uh, it's going to be this one up here. Hey, very nice. All right, so... What two action cubes do we want to pull off the board? I think the two attack ones, really. Yeah. All right, and then it goes again and nothing happens. Okay, let's build farms again. Sheep and cattle and that'll cost two time all right so then old ones go reveal the old one with the lowest number of hex that i can't because i was going to have to do six cards for his movement i can't believe how many times i don't think that's really triggered once i think every time it's either been a temple or a kangaroo that showed up so those six movement cards can really mess with you if it hits the way it normally does, which is with a old one that actually moves. That temple's too far away from my track, so I'm never going to get to it. So we might end up with some stuff getting summoned here. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to build tracks. Yeah, we'll go here. This will be two time. Coal and iron. Two tracks to get to... This gold out here. Old ones go. All right, let's see if it happens this time. The lowest numbered hex is here now. A kangaroo. Unbelievable. I'm actually feeling uh, kind of bad for the old ones. Oh, I get to take two gold as well. It's too late in the game to refresh. I think we're just gonna we're gonna build some farms real quick. Oh, no, it's the old one's turn again. Old one's turn again. Well, but they don't do anything. Okay, so build some farms real quick. We'll actually build two farms, so it'll be two time. Again, we'll go sheep and cattle. All right, 
The old ones pull their final card. Same thing. And it would be this one. All right, so finally get to see how this might work. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just looking for the Migo, nothing. It moves and one, two, three, four. That's definitely the closest. So there. Moves again. Moves again. Nope. And nope. Okay. But that was just from this card right here. It doesn't count for the normal movement. So now we have to see what normal movement does. No. And there it is. He got it. Uh, so now we see if he moves again. He does. Definitely closest to this one. Right there. And then, no, okay. All right. So I think clearly we need to take that guy out before, because he will get one more move, I believe. Game ends when uh, all players have reached or passed 53. All right, so basically, uh, let's see, we will attack and Take that off. Go in here. Infantry. Armored car. And airship. Of course, the artillery is a guaranteed hit. Yeah, might as well. All right, so this is going to be my last turn. So that's going to be actually three time. Okay, so we get two hits automatically. Infantry gets another one. And Amigo deals one to the airship, so I will actually go ahead and just withdraw the airship. Artillery gets another one that kills him. Okay. Which means there's nothing else, even though they have one more turn, nothing goes on there. And that's it. So now let's do in game scoring. All right. So let's score the old ones first. They get one victory point for each blighted farm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Face value of any revealed old ones, which they don't have. Oh, they do right here. Three victory points. And then two times the face value of unrevealed old ones still on the board. So that's 14, 12, 12 plus 23 is 35. Plus six is 41, plus four is 45, plus six is 51. Yikes. All right, so now let's see how I did. So each productive farm is two victory points. One, two, three, four, so that's eight. Each phosphate is three, so that's six. Gives me a 14. Victory point tokens in hand, I don't have any of those. Victory points for old ones I killed. I've got two, seven, 10, 10, 11, 12, 14, 28. 
Bonuses from personality cards. One for every sheep form, but only have one that's not blighted. And then this gives me 15. So that's 39, 44. Ah, oh, he got me again. It's a higher score than I got last time, though, so that's good. Making progress there. All this blight here. I mean, like, look, how, how much of a difference it makes. So if one of them changed, a minus two and plus, sorry, that'd be a minus one and plus two. If another one, minus one and plus two. So if I could have saved three of my farms, that that's the difference in the game, is not letting those farms fall. So yeah, and look, like really like pushing deep into their territory. I really probably should have kept my farms more coastal. Maybe that could have helped save it. I don't know. Two games into playing this, and I am loving this game. I've only played it solo so far. Very excited to play this with some uh, actual people to see how the you know the resource crunch gets with the more players and everything. Also, there's a, a alternate map on the other side of the board. Uh, this is Eastern Australia. The other side is Western Australia. Curious to see how. Uh, that changes things as well. Thanks so much for watching this gameplay of Australia. I am going to be doing a full instructional video for it. So you probably observe some rules errors here during this gameplay. The instructional video will be much better for, for learning the game. Uh, I've got it completely scripted out, so it'll be, get, be getting filmed probably in the next one to two weeks. And also come back, check out how to play Aeon Trespass Odyssey. I'm filming part two of that series, how to play Frosthaven. I'll, uh, be filming uh, part 2B uh, of that series and how to play 1815 Scum of the Earth. All that's coming up real soon. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.